Hi, I'm Joshua Hardesty with Bose Professional, and we're excited to announce that Control Space Designer 5.13.1 now provides an improved alarm fault panel for PowerShare X amplifiers, making the configuration process simpler and more efficient. The alarm fault panel is used to monitor the amplifier's thermal stress, standby state, and integrity of loudspeaker lines across any output channels. Let's dive into Control Space Designer and take a look. You can open the alarm fault panel in one of four ways, by right-clicking and selecting it in the design view, from the amplifier's properties panel, from the monitor panel, or by right-clicking on an out block in the signal processing view. The thermal stress and standby alarms are always active. Similarly, each channel's short circuit is always enabled, affecting only its corresponding output. When an alarm is triggered, the system activates alarm and fault indicators along with general purpose outputs. Each output channel includes a pilot tone generator that can be set up to 22,000 Hz with an output amplitude between 2 and 40 volts. The pilot tone voltage alarm measures the amplitude of incoming pilot tone signals, either generated internally or externally. The alarm will trigger if no tone is detected, if a different listening frequency is detected, or if the amplitude is outside the range of the high and low threshold. The pilot tone load alarm monitors the impedance of a load connected to the output at the specified frequency. Like the pilot tone voltage alarm, it will trigger if no tone is detected, if a different listening frequency is detected, or if the impedance is outside the specified range. The nominal impedance alarm measures the nominal impedance of a load connected to the output based on any type of audio signal such as music. This alarm will trigger if the detected impedance is outside the specified range. Generally, you would only use one of these three alarms for an output. As demonstrated here, the pilot tone load alarm was triggered because the measured impedance was outside the high and low threshold range. The significantly high impedance measurement suggests a damaged or disconnected loudspeaker cable, whereas an impedance reading close to zero indicates a short circuit in the output. The high and low threshold values will vary according to your application. When using a pilot tone, double check the listening frequency matches the frequency produced by the pilot tone generator. For this example, the high threshold needs to be adjusted for this application as I've determined the loudspeaker cable is connected and not damaged. You can easily synchronize settings from channel 1 to other channels. Select the desired channel, check the use settings from channel 1, and all other channels will use the settings of channel 1. Download version 5.13.1 of Control Space Designer to use the new alarm fault panel on PowerShare X amplifiers. For more information, please visit us at boastprofessional.com and thanks for joining me today.